What's up, you guys? It's be your boy, Scotty, and this is my 25th version of my perspective. And if you're just now tuning in, my perspective is basically my opinion on what goes on and, you know what I'm saying, celebrity news, entertainment news, whatever, anything that goes on in the media, you know what I'm saying, that's what I want to talk about, and it's my perspective, my motherfucking opinion. If you don't like it, click that X button at the top of your computer and just keep moving. If you don't like my opinion, that's fine. You know, I like reading the comments. I like to see what people agree or disagree with me. But please just keep it funky. Don't be disrespectful because for the last, these last, you know, I have seen two disrespectful comments this week and I am going to address it. Um, well, first of all, I'm just going to go ahead and address the YouTube trolls right, right quick, right quick, right now. You know what I'm saying? I know most of y'all who watch me all the time, I always say, don't give them the shine that they want to get. I know that. I know I shouldn't do that, but I just got to let it be known. For the, for the bitch that commented up on my, one of my videos saying that, you know, you're 24, no college education. Bitch, um, what do you know? You know what I'm saying? You don't know my situation. You don't know my. You don't know what the fuck going on in my life. You only know what the fuck I tell you. So with that being said, if you don't know what the fuck you talking about, keep your comments to your red ass self, okay? You, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't know what the fuck I got going on. You don't know what the fuck I got in the works. Because as of right now, 2013 looks pretty damn good to me. And I'm getting back on my motherfucking feet regardless. So it don't matter whether I'm in school, whether I'm working, it don't matter. I got you watching me on motherfucking YouTube. Something you don't even have to do. You boosting my views up. So it really don't matter what you think. Alright? Peace. And the other thing, somebody commented up under my video saying that, you know, I need to get a little bit bass in my voice. And I said that you will live. I did. Then they want to say, what I'm saying is stop talking, stop acting like a woman. You would do. Be proud of it. I feel like that was the most ignorant shit that anybody can fucking say to me. Do you really think that I'm trying to speak the way I speak? No. Like I keep telling people, this is not a fucking facade. This is not some play play shit. This is not some shit that I just came up with. Everything that you see on these videos and everything that you hear is all me. This is Scotty. This is the way I talk. You know what I'm saying? It's not my fault that I don't have any bass in my voice. I can't help that. You know what I'm saying? If I had some bass in my voice, you would hear it. But, you know, I don't have it. And I had to live with that. You can live with it too. What is the big issue? If you don't like to hear no dude with no female-ass voice, then you can just get the fuck out and just don't watch me. I don't get it. You know, why do people watch videos of yours only to complain about it? Only to complain about it and only to try to diss what you can't control. You know what I'm saying? So get the fuck out of here. And it is what it is. So I just had to address those two comments because the, these these trolls are getting out of control. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? If I don't have a college education, it really doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Like, who's to say that I'm not going back to school this year? Because I've talked about it so many times this year. I am going back to school. Duh. Not that I owe you any type of explanation. But you you know what it is what it is. I just had to put it out there. You know, people are always speaking on shit that they don't know nothing about. You don't know shit about me. Once I turn off this camera and go on about my life, you only thing you can do is wonder what I'm doing. You don't know what I'm doing unless I tell you. So if you really want to know about my college education status, it's still pending and it's still in the works and I'm still going to get my damn degree. So it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't speak on shit you don't know nothing about. You know what I'm saying? And yes, I stay with my mama, but it's a lot of YouTubers that still live with their mama. I mean... Kevin from the Scorpio show still live with his mama. Ain't nobody complaining about that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm living with my mama. So, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people that's my age that's living with their mama. And there's some people that's older than me that still live with their mama. What the fuck wrong with that? I can see if I'm 35 and still live with my mama. Bitch, I'm just 23 years old. You know what I'm saying? I'm still, I'm still trying to find my way. So, you know, it is what it is. With that being said, um, let's get into the video. I just, I don't, I just, I gave y'all enough free camera time. I shouldn't have did that, but it is what it is. I gave you the time that you really wanted. Um, everybody been wanting, wanting me to talk about Chris and Frank Ocean. I know that happened last week, and I know I'm very late on the news, but who cares? Um, the only thing I gotta say is this. I'm not gonna come down on Chris Brown. I'm not really gonna come down on Frank Ocean. The only thing is, I don't know the situation. I don't know who's telling the truth. I don't know what. But all I gotta say is this. I really don't like it. Every time something dealing with Chris Brown come out, everybody wanna automatically point the finger at him because 
They think that he crazy, he on drugs, he on this, he on that. How do you guys not know that these people aren't provoking him? Everybody knows that he got an anger problem. Some people, sometimes I feel like people push his buttons on purpose. You know what I'm saying? Like over the past couple of years, people have done a lot of things just to push his buttons and just fuck with him. Like, I don't think Chris Brown asked Drake to throw a champagne bottle at him. I don't think that he asked Miranda Lambert to go on the Grammy stage to talk shit about him just because he won a Grammy and she felt some type of way about it. I don't think that he asked for that woman to harass him on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? I just, some of this shit, I just feel like people just be nitpicking with this boy just so he can have a reaction because they know they're going to get a reaction out of him. And I'm not saying that he perfect and I'm not saying that, you know what I'm saying, he's innocent because Chris isn't innocent because, you know what I'm saying, He's old enough to know that he needs to control his emotions. But all I got to say is just because, you know, I just don't like how people trying to make it seem like Frank Ocean is fucking innocent. They making Chris Brown seem like the big bad bully that's picking on the poor innocent. You know, they making, let me, let me rephrase that. They making Chris Brown out to be the poor, big homophobic bully that's picking on the innocent, lovable, homosexual Frank Ocean. That's how they that's how they doing it. And none of us really know how Frank Ocean's personality is. I have never really seen an interview with him. I don't know what he's like. I don't know what his personality is like. I just know what I know from Channel Orange. I just know that he gay as hell and that I love his song Thinking About You and I love his album Channel Orange. That's the only thing I fucking know. I don't know what type of personality he has because he don't ever do any interviews or anything publicly. You know what I'm saying? So who knows what type of person he is? Who knows if Frank Ocean is a messy queen or not? We don't know that. Now, getting on to my girl, Keisha Cole, talking about Michelle Williams. Now, everybody, if, if don't nobody know, besides Monica and besides K. Michelle, besides K. Michelle and besides Mary J. Blige, everybody knows that I stand so hard for Keisha Cole. Everybody knows that. But, you know, for the last few months, this bitch has really been rubbing me the wrong way. First of all, she's been blocking a lot of her fans on Twitter, including myself, when all I did was suggest that Zero or I Choose You should be her third single and the bitch blocked me just for saying it. Why did she do that? I have no clue, but it is what it is. Um, She's just been running all off at the mouth and her reality show really ain't really helped her because of her whack-ass personality. She got a bad-ass attitude and it seems like that she's angry about something. Now, I will say this. Even though what she said about Michelle, everybody else was thinking the same thing, but you got to understand... You a public figure. You can't really just go out and start dissing other artists. Especially when you just got your shit together as far as the performance tip. Because as a huge fan of yours, let's not forget about you in that damn um, national anthem shit that you did when you was at that wrestling shit. And the home of the Really? Ain't nobody forgot about that, Keisha. So you need to just sit the fuck down. You don't have no right to go after Michelle Williams. Bitch, she was at the Super Bowl. You was at home watching it. I'm not saying you ain't relevant. Everybody knows who the fuck Keisha Cole is. But bitch, sit down. Like, you just rubbing everybody the wrong way with your fucked up ass attitude. And even though you blocked me on Twitter for no apparent reason, I still ride for your ass. You know what I'm saying? I still be going hard for trust and believe. And that song been out for months, and I'm still going hard for it. So I just think that Keisha Cole need to take some anger management classes. She need to go fix her life with uh, Iana or whatever and just work things out with her husband, work things out with her family or something because she just seemed like she got a big ass anger issue. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with Keisha, but she really need to talk to somebody who gives a fuck about it. Um, I saw on the news yesterday, well, a few days ago that there was, um, they're going to let gay guys be Boy Scout leaders, but then last night on the news, I saw that they wasn't going to do it. Now, this is my opinion. And this opinion is not a biased opinion because of whatever. But all I got to say is, say is I seen a dude from my hometown make a status about it. And, you know, some, you know, when it comes down to this, it's very touchy for me. And everybody should know why it's a touchy topic for me. But this is, this is, the, this is my thing. Why is it that every time it comes down to a gay person, period, and a gay person being allowed to do something, there's always outrage behind it? Like, I, like I really had a full-blown debate with this guy on Facebook because he made it seem like, okay, um, he would never let his son be under the leadership of somebody gay. Why? Because he thinks that because he's gay, he's going to 
you know, automatically be a sexual predator towards his son. And I just feel like that's the ignorance speaking, and I feel like that's what you really think about gay men. And I had to let him know, there's a lot of motherfucking gay men that I know that are interested in gay men, not boys. You know what I'm saying? Just because a motherfucker gay don't mean that every man that they see, they want to say, ooh, I want to fuck him. Ooh, I want to suck him. Ooh, I want to lick. Like, every gay, like, there's a lot of gay men that I know that got their own damn preferences. And the main motherfuckers that sit around here acting all homophobic about the situation and acting like every gay man want them is somebody that got some bullshit deep within themselves. And everybody that claims not to be so homophobic and I don't give a fuck about a person being gay is the main ones that say, oh, that's a bad thing. Oh, that's terrible. I would never do that. But guess what, bitch? Like, you know what I'm saying? Who knows? It might it might have been some gay men that's under the that was under some leadership with the Boy Scouts and you didn't even know it. Just because they don't act queenish and flamboyant and shit or act like me like a little bit film or whatever, they don't mean that they that they straight. It might be a lot of dudes that was gay that's that was a Boy Scout leader. You never know. It's a lot of ma macho men that's harder than me and tougher than me and more manlier than I am and got way more bass in their voice than I do. That's a Boy Scout leader. Who gives a fuck about um who they fucking? I don't give a fuck about who somebody fucking. A good leader is a good leader. No matter what they do or who they have in their bedroom, does not define on whether they are a good leader for young guys or not. It does not matter. Like, I just can't stand this shit. It, it, it just really irks me when people get to doing bullshit like that. And saying bullshit like that. Um, the U.S. Postal Service, they will not be, starting later this year, they will not be delivering mail on the sat on Saturdays anymore. It The mail will only be coming five days a week, rain, shine, sleet, sleet or snow. And my mother is a mail carrier, and she doesn't really give a fuck about it. Why? Because she don't like working on no Saturday any damn way. But other than that, um, a lot of people are, like my cousin, he was like, damn, I be looking forward to my packages on Saturday. Now, that's going to fuck up the groove. I don't know what to say about it, but all I know is that my mama don't give a damn. She works for the Postal Service, so she don't want to work on no Saturday no way, so she happy with it. But what y'all think? Um, Somebody on Twitter asked me to talk about Grammy predictions, and like I told them, I don't really give a fuck about it because the Grammys really don't, really don't phase me anymore. I mean, they already cut down all the categories, so it was really hard to just predict. And they really don't give a fuck about R&B music anyway, so why should I give a damn about this award show? I really don't give a damn. The only thing I can tell you guys for Grammy predictions is I hope that Miguel and Frank Ocean win all the awards that they are nominated for. That's the only thing I can really say about it. That's it. Um, Starter Wives, only thing I got to say about this show, you guys, I watched it and I contemplated doing reviews on it, but I don't know if I'm going to go ahead and just review the entire show. Only thing I got to say is I, I live with Zakia. I don't give a damn how much of a ghetto man she is. I live for her ass, and I do not like uh, Floyd Mayweather's um, ex-girlfriend. She's a messy-ass hag, and I want to see Zakia beat her ass. Uh, Monica is a messy bitch. I love Tashira. Um, but it's a pretty good show. It comes on TLC, and, um, I think y'all need to check it out. It come on every Tuesday on TLC. Um, let me see. And as far as the Super Bowl is concerned, I know I already discussed, uh, Keisha Cole talking about Michelle, but Beyonce, I did not watch the Super Bowl. The only thing I seen was Beyonce's performance, and Beyonce did a damn thing when she brought out uh, Destiny's Child. I would have really loved it if she brought out Latoya and Latavia. That would have been epic. But, you know, it was still good for what it was. And, um, Alicia Keys didn't do so bad with the national anthem. It could have been better, but what do you expect? You know, what do you expect? And I did not see Jennifer Hudson on there, probably because 